Welcome to another, uh, this is how I do it episode. I got a question about how I stitch one over one skin on Mirabilia. So this is a uh, Lady of Mystery, the one I'm stitching on at the moment. And I've been thinking a little bit about this. I don't know exactly how I'm going to show you. Uh, but I will try. Um, you can see here uh, the black stitches are stitched with two threads over two. That's, that's part of her hair. And you can see the fine small stitches. These are stitched with one thread over one. So Basically, uh, four of these small stitches equals one of the big ones. So maybe if you compare the two here, you can, you can see that two stitches are one big. So I hope I'm not going to get too much glare. I've taken a close up picture. So you are going to uh, see a close-up picture at where I am at this moment. I know the light is going to roll, but we'll just have to deal with it as it is. I have parked a thread here at the plus sign. I have one part here at the L and one here at the minus. So those are the threads you're going to see. And so one of this square is four small stitches. So instead of stitching one stitch, I do four in a square. And it's also easier when you get to these parts where there is a like a quarter stitch it's easier to do that with one over one um so either you do that and then you do you know you see the lines here and here those are back stitches Sometimes it's actually easier to do the back stitching first, or you do like a long running stitch from here to there and to there, and then you just fill in with small crosses to the lines. It's actually easier to do like that, but I tend to, you know, catch the, the guidelines. And then I have a problem to, to rip them out later on. But, but, but we'll see. But I will stitch these three stitches right now. One over one on skin. Okay. I know this is not very, very clear. But um, if you go to YouTube. Well, you're already on YouTube. But if, if you search uh, stitching skin one over one i think stitch oh skinner one over one or like mirabilia skin um you will find stitcherista's video she explains it very very well so i can just very yeah. highly recommend that okay so this is where i parked my thread for the plus symbol and since I'm stitching three stitches I need to double it up so I do two and then I go up Okay, I already messed up. 
but hey hey this is how it is there we go i will show you again because i messed up but maybe you can see now those four stitches is one stitch I'm just going to fill out here so so the next square here that's another symbol in the pattern so it's just one stitch, but I need to do four small within that square. And sometimes I lose track. So I did one and I should do another. This is so typical, you know, when you're going to show. That's why I go over these things in my head over and over. I will do the third and last stitch, but with four small ones. And I can just hear that my expl explaining is just making even myself more confused. So I need to count. That's one. <clears throat> let's bring this forward again so i have stitched those three symbols okay so since i need to double it up there should be six small stitches at the bottom and six on the top so a total of 12 stitches now <clears throat> and you can count here there's one two three four five and six right but if we look here now where am i here uh, if you can see here beside this symbol beside here this is a, a picture of a, a working copy, so it's not very clear, but I can see that this is an, an L. So I have a part, this thread is part here. And I can see that it's like, it should be a fractional stitch, but I'm going to do three small stitches in this square. Just parking my thread and then I will grab the other part thread. Oh, it was already on a needle. So that's that symbol part so and now I need to I'm going to do three instead of a partial stitch or a fractional you know stitch I do 
the three small ones. Like so. Then I'm going to park it just on top. <clears throat> so I stitched those three and now I stitched three. One, two, and three in this square. And I part my thread up here. So now I will stitch four small stitches in this square and three to the side of that one. That was the four stitches, which which equals one symbol, one square. And now the three that will make the fractional stitch. So, and I'm going to park that thread there. So I have those threads parked there. And now I can do the back stitch up to her neck, which is supposed to go here. And and it goes up here. To there. So you may maybe seeing this that I don't really like when you can see some of the stitches maybe. Can you see that? They're sticking out beside backstitch I don't like that so I might want it to go like this instead maybe I don't know I'll wait until I finish more for thre thread but that is also a, a good reason to why you can do the backstitching first and then you just fill out the space with the small stitches. Um, I don't know, do I need to show you some more? Um, I have this thread part as well. I can do that, I guess. I will show you again. Oh, I that thread is parked here. It's the minus symbol. So again, I will do three stitches going to the left. That means I'm going to do six small stitches at the bottom, you know, six stitches, one over one, and six on top. And those 12 stitches together equals three of the 
stitches here on the pattern. I hope this is a bit clear. Um, you know, Luda, who also is huge on Fosdu, she also has a very good tutorial on how to stitch one over one. So, one. No, oh, that's not right. Now I have a hard time seeing the thread on this fabric. Let's see if I can back stitch it. I'm just trying to thread my needle. So, four stitches together like this, that's one square. That's another four, so we have two squares. And that was the third square. Okay. And then we had some fun part underneath. Let's see if I can do this before we're done. So I stitched those three stitches. And here we have some half thing going on. So if you had the line going here already, you could just fill in that space. But I will do two stitches here, three here, one, two, and three, and then maybe just one or two here. So how did I say it's underneath that one? I said two stitches here. And I said three stitches here, one, two, and one under. One, two, to the side. Oh, 
We'll see how that will look. And then I need to That's where that one starts. Need to go one. I think it's it. Park it here. So yeah, maybe I should try the back stitching. Let's see how it's gonna look. Um I said maybe something like this and then it actually goes like this. Mm -mm -mm. I will just do something temporarily. Um it actually meets up here. And then it goes one, two, three, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should remove one chin, or maybe it should be like a stitch here, and then her chin won't be something like that. I think that would be maybe that could be nice. I need to stitch more of her face. So we'll just pull the thread up here in a parking mode. Yeah, so I know I didn't show you very, very much, but th this is how I go about it with my skin stitching the, the skin. Um, but go check out, you know, Stitcheries and Luda. They have great videos too on how to stitch one over one so i would definitely do that that is how i learned about it um it's not that hard it's just sometimes it's difficult to in your mind uh convert you know one symbol on the chart to which is like equals one stitch and and make that to four small stitches. So sometimes that can just mess up a, a little bit, but I do one row at a time and all the colors at once. So I will zoom out uh, a little bit. So you can see it more on a distance. But I'll remove my pattern here. This is how she looks further away and I'm very pleased with uh, the skins on the Mirabilias when stitching it one over one. I will never stitch two over two on the skin on any of the ladies because I think the one over one is well worth the hard work. So I hope this video helped in any way uh, i am no expert in this i am learning through floss tube and youtube just like you guys are so for you people so uh, thank you for watching let's stop talking and let's get back to stitches have a good day bye bye